return to you. Hear me? Are y'all hearing me? Look, God has a blessing for us. He does. He has a blessing for each and every one of us. I'm telling y'all right now, we're going to be blessed more when we learn to make sacrifice for us. Look, and they're going to get blessed. I've been been to the point to where I've been angry with God. It seemed like he used me to be a blessing to everybody else, and he's forgetting about me. <laughs> if you ain't never been there, you will get there. <laughs> you may not admit it, but you'll get there. Yep. No! <laughs> 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 Hey, Foster, why do you care? <laughs> what about me? But I'm telling you this here. I have learned since that time, the Lord always go before you. Yes. Amen. Look, and when you really get that in your spirit, that what you know what? You will make a sacrifice. For others, look, not worrying about yourself. Because you know, let me tell you right now, God, look, He said, don't He take care of the sparrow? Look, don't He take care of the trees? Don't He take care of the, Don't He make sure they take care? He said, take no thought for your life. He's, and I'm not saying don't be no fool that walk out in the street in traffic. I'm saying, learn this, y'all. If, we, we, if, if the Lord is going to use you to be a blessing for somebody else, listen, you may not even feel like you're being blessed as a result of it. In fact, it may take more out of you than it feel like was added to you. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Worry about it. Because you know what? The most important thing you can do for the Lord is bring somebody to Him. Amen. And if you, what an investment that you just made. Yes. Amen. Amen. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? What an investment <laughs> that you have just made to bring somebody yes. to Him. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet, y'all. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. We ain't gonna. I could go. I, I could go on. I could go on, but I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna stop right now. What an investment that you can make. They were convinced, and we're gonna have to become convinced, y'all. Not convinced in your skills. Not convinced in your talent. Not convinced in your gift. Look. But convinced that if I can just get them to Jesus. Hmm. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus will use you as a representative of him. Look, and when they meet you, they will believe they have met him. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When we learn to let him dwell in our heart, when we learn to let him direct us, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, because here's some of us know right now. We've had people to say to us. It was like I, I met Jesus. It was like, and look, and we can't take any credit for it. You can't take any credit for it because it wasn't me. It, and look, it was Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let us bow our heads. Thank you, Lord.
We must become convinced. Convinced about Jesus. Convinced about the Word. Convinced that Jesus is the answer. That his principles that he have left for us are the way to freedom, are the way to peace, are the way to people getting along. We can end discrimination. We can end bickering and biting backbiting in family, in neighborhood, between race, between social classes. When we learn to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. When we realize that my thoughts and my ways may be different from somebody else. But as long as we embrace the principle of Jesus, we can live in harmony together. Because it's not rather I'm right or rather they're right. It's about rather it's right. When we get to that place, we're going to become people that can help those who now need help. They can help those who have now been paralyzed by life, by circumstances and situations that have happened in their lives. We can help those. <laughs> and you know what? And we won't stop until they get the help. Hallelujah. 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 I heard him earlier say the laborers are few. We need workers of the vineyard. Jesus told his disciples.